Clay, better known as Dream Online, is a 22-year-old Minecraft content creator from the United States whose online alias is synonymous with internet fame. Seriously, you'd have to be living under a rock to be unfamiliar with Dream. As such, the man needs no introduction, seeing as how he's currently the largest Minecraft content creator on the entire World Wide Web. As you can imagine, being in a position like this one garners you a lot of supporters, but it also nets you lots of haters too, and Dream is no exception. In fact, I'd say that Dream has a rather exceptional amount of haters, too many for the supposed sins he has committed. Although that's not to say there haven't been times when he's been in the wrong because there certainly have been. Still, even then, I can't say Dream has done anything overly egregious compared to other creators like Lion Maker, Sky Does Minecraft, and Jin Bob, who are three individuals that are downright deplorable and irredeemable in every conceivable way. So why is Dream almost as hated as the aforementioned people, even though he hasn't committed any heinous acts? as they have? Well, that's what I aim to answer in this video. Without further ado, let's explore why Dream is the most hated Minecraft YouTuber. It's no secret that Dream is currently one of the fastest growing YouTubers on the platform and additionally one of the fastest growing YouTubers in the history of YouTube. Dream has gone from 10,000 subscribers back in late July 2019 to having over 29,200,000 as I'm writing this in May 2022. This of course is undoubtedly a lot to deal with for just one person as fame can be a double-edged sword, especially when amasses rapidly. Inarguably, lots of good comes with this level of popularity. I I can list off a few pros like a tremendous sense of accomplishment, a caring and loving audience, and a fair amount of wealth. However, on the other hand, with such recognition and mass appeal comes a lot of hate since people love to hate anything and everything that's even remotely popular or mainstream and Dream is no exception. But why is this? Why do people like to hate on something or someone that's so incredibly popular? According to an article titled Why We Love to Hate Popular Things, Kate Harveston, the writer, states that the issue is not necessarily necessarily that cutting against the grain, hating popular things is becoming a more common tendency. The issue may be that we've built a society which gives everybody and therefore nobody a soapbox to stand on and a megaphone to yell into. We hate popular music because it's popular, we hate trending TV shows and movies because they're trending. As soon as something achieves apparently universal appeal and we find conversations about those things cropping up around every water cooler, across our social media channels, and on every talk show it becomes time for some of us to tune it out and tell the world how thoughtful we are for doing so. We start to build our personalities less on who we are and what we do, and more on who we aren't and what we don't do. To give a more relevant example of this, a Reddit user named VetLama left a comment on my now deleted post where I asked people why they think Dream is the most hated Minecraft YouTuber, in which they said, because he's the most loved. It's always like this in any community. The most loved will be hated the same amount. I would take BTS in the K-pop community, Sentinels in VCT, XQC in Twitch streamers or PewDiePie for the YouTubers. All of these are loved by a very large amount of people, but they are hated just as much. Ultimately, the point I'm trying to make is that humans are contrarians and rebellious by nature, and since social media is so accessible to everyone, people can voice their opposing opinions to whatever is popular, in this case, Dream. This inherent tendency in people, coupled with other things that we'll discuss throughout this video, makes Dream a prime target for people to hate. In addition to the aforementioned, with such a rapid growth rate, as the one Dream has experienced, every action you take, whether minor or major, is scrutinized to a heavy degree. Plus, this fast growth doesn't exactly give a creator sufficient time to learn how to deal with this amount of fame and the constant barrage of criticism, which leads to many mistakes being made, but we'll touch more on this later in the video. Nonetheless, there are bound to be some bad eggs with such a massive audience as the one previously mentioned. However, the problem with Dream's audience is that these bad eggs are an incredibly loud minority that unfortunately gives the rest of his audience a relatively poor reputation. I'm sure you know which group of individuals I'm referring to here, so let's delve deeper into this. As you may or may not be aware, Dream stands are among the most despised individuals on the internet, sometimes for perfectly valid reasons and other times unnecessarily. Look no further than Twitter and you'll find all of these stands on there, terminally addicted to basing their entire existences around Dream and his posse. It's pretty sad, but once you realize that they're only children, it becomes somewhat understandable since they don't have the maturity to realize that they may come off as a bit overbearing at times. I say somewhat because the problem comes with these 
these insane stands that take things a bit too far as they would do anything for their lord and savior Dream. For instance, on April 11th of this year, there was a situation in which Dream replied to a Twitter user's hateful message, resulting in that user fearing that they could get doxxed by these stands. Of course, doxing is horrible and can even be considered a crime in some places, for which you can be arrested for up to a year, which is a bit short if you ask me, since you're entirely stripping a person of their right to privacy. In addition, you're putting an individual's life at risk, and potentially even their loved one's lives at risk. I don't doubt that one of these stands would be crazy enough to show up at someone's house and god forbid take it a step further and hurt them just because they said something hateful on the internet. Don't get me wrong, I'm by no means defending these bigots online, but it's not right to stoop down to their level and threaten to dox them for no good reason. To make matters worse than they already were, Dream responded to this controversy in a stream three days later on the 14th titled Let's Talk Controversy. Unfortunately, instead of condemning the actions of these stands and apologizing to the victim despite their hateful comments, he decided to double down and downplay the severity of the situation at hand, stating that the person has nothing to fear and nothing terrible will happen to them. To quote him directly, he said, If you are a person on Twitter and you have 7 followers, and you get doxxed on Twitter, the odds of you having something happen to you in your life are so astronomically small that it's not even worth worrying about. This is a bit of a bold statement to make as it's not something you know for a fact. There could be someone out there who's crazy enough to do something heinous to someone over a hateful tweet. It's not not something entirely outside of the realms of possibility, unfortunately. Although, after digging deeper into this, it seems like the individual in question was never doxxed, thankfully. However, in Dream's defense, he does follow up the aforementioned statement by condemning doxxing, but I feel that the previous remark taints the whole message. You need to understand that Dream's audience is full of impressionable children who see him as some sort of deity, so they'll take his word as gospel. And that's where the problem comes, especially with the stands. They perceive Dream as an infallible person when that isn't the case for him or anyone for that matter. No one is exempt from making mistakes and the fact that these stands are so thoroughly convinced that Dream can do no wrong is bewildering to say the least. Of course, it doesn't help that Dream often feeds into this behavior and even enables it at times since he's likely scared of losing a good portion of his audience, or getting on their bad side since as we've seen, these stands are a bit psychotic. I'm sure they'd be willing to turn on Dream if he did anything they deemed wrong which petrifies him. Understand so, as I would also tiptoe with every action I take, fearing that my rabid audience would tear me to bits and shreds if they thought I did something slightly incorrect. Nevertheless, these stands alongside Dream's responses to drama have landed him in numerous controversies, which we'll now further discuss. Dream is no stranger to controversy, and I'd say that many people first heard about him through one of the many controversies he's been involved in. However, let's start with what's likely the most prominent one he got himself wrapped up in, that being the speedrun controversy. For the few of you unaware of this situation, without getting too deep into it, in October 2020, Dream was accused of cheating his 1.16 Minecraft speedrun by a YouTuber named Shell Guy in a video titled Confirmed, the Dream fake his Minecraft speedrun's mathematical proof. Some rather damning evidence then backed up the initial accusations in this video. Two months later in December, Speedrun.com's Minecraft Speedrun moderation team posted a 29-page document showing proof that Dream had modified his game to change the drop rates of certain items. Additionally, on the same day that this document was posted, one of the moderators of the aforementioned website named GeoSquare uploaded a video titled The Dream Fake is Speedrun's Official Moderator Analysis, which summarized the contents of the document previously mentioned. As a result, of both the paper and video, Dream's 1.16 speedrun record was removed from the leaderboard. Of course, you likely know how this situation ended. Dream confessed to cheating in late May 2021 after months of vehemently denying that he did so. And that's where the problem lies. The issue for me and probably most others isn't that Dream cheated in a Minecraft speedrun, as that doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. I'm not trying to justify it, but I'm just saying that it's certainly nothing despicable or unforgivable, although it heavily damaged his credibility. The issue is that his reaction to the drama was so unbelievably poor that it left an incredibly sour taste in people's mouths, mine included. In fact, I haven't been able to wash it out ever since, so if you happen to know of any good mouthwashes I could use to remedy my problem, please do let me know in the comments as Listerine just isn't cutting it unfortunately. Furthermore, during the 5 months that Dream denied any accusations of cheating, he was angry and deflective. He showed the internet that he couldn't accept fault and acted overly confident, borderline ego 
egotistical. To put it bluntly, he was just a complete asshole during the whole controversy, and I'd say that the effects of this drama still linger to this day, as he hasn't entirely regained his credibility. If Dream truly wanted to avoid all of this, he should have made sure that there wasn't anything out of the ordinary in his Minecraft mods folder to ensure that the run wouldn't unintentionally be skewed in his favor. However, this is one of those situations that should have just been resolved privately. Unfortunately, whenever a situation like this is brought to light, all hell breaks loose and usually ends poorly for every party involved. The court of public opinion is the most unfair and relentless one out there, so a good rule of thumb is to resolve all drama privately if possible, as was the case here. Regardless, apart from this controversy, Dream has been involved in numerous Twitter dramas, both big and small. He's been in so many that there was a point on Twitter where you'd see Dream on the trending tab at least once a week, if not more. Undoubtedly, with such an extensive track record of controversies, people will forget most of them, myself included. Hell, even Dream himself is aware of this and he mocked it in a tweet he posted in June of last year stating, Mom, wake up, the new Dream controversy just dropped. The point is that there's no shortage of these controversies, and for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna cover one of the more recent ones, since otherwise we'd be here all day talking about the shit. It all started with a response to one of Hassan Abi's tweets, a popular political Twitch streamer, where he showed that his video titled Dear Conservatives, Gay People Exist, was demonetized by YouTube. This prompted Dream to respond to this tweet by saying, I mean it is controversial, do they really exist? I heard gay people was a myth made up by the gay frogs in my water. Solid move by YouTube in my opinion. Of course, this was a satirical tweet mocking how a homophobe would respond. Still, the embryos and fetuses in Dream's audience couldn't understand that as he interpreted as genuine homophobia. To fan the flames, Ant Frost, a fellow Minecraft content creator and friend of Dreams, made a similar joke as he replied to Dreams' tweet by saying, gay people don't exist, I heard. For reference, Ant Frost is publicly gay and there should be no problem with him making jokes like this in my opinion. But the real shitty cherry on top was that Dream followed up this tweet with, they exist in your disgusting fantasies, you freak. And this was the reply that sent the little kitties on Twitter into a frenzy as they all dogged piled Dream, calling him a homophobe. This prompted Dream to respond to this in a stream where he said, Most of you know, but I will reiterate. I am not homophobic. I support gay people. I support everybody from the LGBTQ plus community. I try and express that as much as I can, and I would never intentionally harm anybody from the LGBTQ community. Additionally, Dream made a tweet on his main account that people perceived as damage control in which he said, I'm not gay. I think women are very attractive. Some men are okay too, I guess. However, that's sums up this Twitter drama and situations similar to this one are a regular occurrence for Dream, but this just so happens to be the latest one as of writing this. If there's anything to take away from this, Dream is a flawed person capable of making an edgy joke or two that likely won't bode well with some of his audience. Not only that, but as can be seen in this controversy, Twitter loves to spread misinformation like wildfire and take things out of context. Dream's tweets were nothing more than dicey jokes that offended some people who decided to misconstrue them as genuine homophobia and that's an issue. Sure, maybe you could argue that Dream should learn to refrain from making these kinds of jokes as they offend a portion of his audience since he isn't exactly someone like Filthy Frank or Leafy who cultivated audiences with a taste for edgy humor. They could have made a joke out of anything and people would have loved it. But on the other hand, Dream's audience seems to be more sensitive to this kind of humor, so perhaps you should realize that and stop making these jokes entirely. But I respect the fact that despite these controversies Dream finds himself in, he continues to have this sense of humor. When looking through Dream's past, you'll see that he has a history of liking this kind of comedy, so it's understandable why he still makes these kinds of jokes. Although, we're living in an era where edgy humor isn't exactly accepted as it was just a few years ago in 2016 or 2017, and if Dream truly cares about getting cancelled over these jokes, he should undoubtedly watch what he says on Twitter. But regardless, with all that said and done, let's wrap this video up. In conclusion, Dream is the most hated Minecraft YouTuber because of his rapid growth, the toxic stands in his community, and the many controversies he's been involved in, most notably the speedrun drama and the numerous Twitter arguments. To further elaborate, Dream's fast growth rate initially made him a target for people since everyone loves to hate whatever's popular. This underprepared him to deal with the sheer amount of fame he amassed in a relatively short amount of time and the growing hate brigade against him. This inadequate preparation led him to make mistakes as he behaved in many controversies he was involved in, with a prime example being the speedrun drama and some of the Twitter controversies he got himself wrapped up in. His unlikable attitude in these situations and the audience of belligerent stance he has accumulated made him the perfect prey for people to shit on to no end. However, I must admit that Dream has bettered how
how he reacts to drama since the speedrun controversy. But despite the improvements he's made, he's still flawed, and the stands and antis need to realize this, as I feel that he sometimes gets needlessly dunked on, as was the case in the homophobia drama that we just covered. Although I think that this will never change since once the internet has cemented its perspective about someone, it'll stay that way regardless of whether or not that perspective is right or wrong. The internet is incapable of forgiveness, and for this reason, Dream will remain the most hated Minecraft YouTuber, despite whether you believe he is deserving or undeserving of this title. But that concludes this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please drop the video like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on this topic in the comments, do let me know if you think the hate that Dream gets is warranted or unwarranted, or any other opinions you may have. Finally, for the Dream stands watching that made it this far, please don't rip me a new asshole, thank you. But once again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll see you next one.